Sector Wars play Astro Blaster. If you destroy my city, if... Ha 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 ha. Alert. The intruder must not escape. Dragon's Lair. The fantasy adventure where you become a valiant knight. You will be a scorpion too. Prepare to qualify. Oh, warrior needs food. Bad night. Lead on, adventurer. Your quest awaits. Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And this time we're going to look at a game called Mini Golf. And this is a game of miniature golf, and this was created by Bally Sente in 1985. And uh, it's it's alright. Um, it is, as the title implies, a game of miniature golf. And uh, you use a trackball to uh, basically hit your ball. And uh, there is also a button that allows you to uh, switch from uh, three different tees where you start uh, the uh, start each hole and um, you have a counter that is called holes to go and each time you beat a hole or you know you finish a hole that's just called a hole and once you run out of holes to go your game will end and the way that you earn extra holes is there will be a flag once in a while that will appear under where it says bonus and you see bonus at the bottom and you see the flag underneath when that flag is showing you want to sink that ball then you will get your extra hole and again if you run out of holes to go your game will end you get like I think six strokes per hole and if you aren't able to sink the the ball within that amount of strokes then you are forced to go to the next hole and each time you use a stroke you will have less bonus and when you run out of the bonus then uh, it says uh, that's too many shots. You have to go to the next hole. But uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, know that the ball, you know, if you hit the ball on a, an angled edge, then the ball will uh, ricochet. <coughs> Excuse me. And note, I only have, what is it, one hole to go. On this course, um, there will, there are uh, little loop-de-loops, and there is a little rotating thing that can propel your ball if it goes right over it at that time. And now we have little rises. So it's kind of hard to hit that, uh, hit the ball just right to get on that uh, middle island there. Um, you will get points for uh, being under par. But being under par isn't as important as having holes to go. And then here we have uh, three different holes. You want to try to go through the middle one so it'll uh, deposit your ball right in the cup. And then on this one, we have these little electrical fields that can knock your ball backwards if you uh, go through it the wrong time and they can smack it backwards really hard and make it go all the way back to the start if you're not careful. So you need to time it just right. Shoot. If, you're on, if you have no holes to go and you're on that course and you still have strokes that you can, uh, that you can uh, uh, use to hit the ball, um, then uh, You'll, you'll still be able to finish out the course, or uh, go until you've run out of uh, strokes or whatever. Uh, I'm out of, Now I'm out of holes, so game over. But yeah, you have to look for that flag that'll appear under where it says bonus. And that means you want to sink the ball while that flag is there. 
And you know, if you if you don't sink the ball, then the flag will disappear. But that is how you get uh, extra holes. <laughs> yeah, Jack and Arnie's, you know, famous uh, golfers, Jack Nicholas and Arnold Palmer. Um, this game's okay. I, it's really hard to play when you're on an emulator. It's hard to get the uh, controls right. Uh, I couldn't get it working right with a mouse, and I couldn't get it right using a joystick. But we will look now at the uh, remainder of the courses. And now we have these spinning triangles, and of course they're going to whack your ball around if if they're spinning when it touches them. <laughs> I like this music here, but oftentimes when you sink, uh, sink the ball in the cup, it will make this really noisy, annoying sound. And that really really sucks. I hate that music. Ugh. Other than that, this game's okay, I suppose. But yeah, look look underneath the uh, bonus. And if you see that flag there, try to sink that ball so that you can have an extra hole to go. Will it go in? There we go. I hate that sound effect. And now we have a whirlpool. And if your ball gets sucked in the whirlpool, you have to start over, or it'll it'll be spit out of that uh, that first cup or a pipe or whatever. You have to try to get it again. What you want to do is try to get your ball as close to the edge so it can roll along the edge and go around that whirlpool and go into that big uh, big hole. There we go. Oh, almost. Well, I'm, I zipped forward so I can show you how it's done. And then it'll go in there and then it'll come out the other the other uh, pipe. And it'll spit it right at the cup. Perfect. I don't recall if I've ever seen this in arcades. I don't think I have. And now we have these uh, rotating things there. If you get your ball in the cup, or in the middle of those, they look like eyeballs or something. If you get your ball in the middle of those, They'll spit it back up, out at that, uh, to that pipe at the top center. And that'll jet you back to where you started, which sucks. And there's another one of those eyeball thingies. And sometimes we'll have these little risers that'll pop up out of the ground, and they'll deflect your ball if it hits them. And now we have a water hazard. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't splash your ball in the water, or, uh, well, you'll be, you'll be close by at least. And it won't count uh, two extra strokes, I don't think, for, you know, like, uh, like in uh, regular golf. But, uh, you'll sometimes have angled, uh, angled barriers that will make your ball ricochet when you hit them. Yeah, it might go right in the cup like that. I put on uh, infinite holes uh, and I think infinite strokes at this point. Just to, just so I could get through the holes quicker. All 18. <sighs> I hate, just hate that sound effect. It's annoying. I hate, I have always hated the, uh, island, uh, the island, uh, parts on miniature golf courses. It was just so hard to get to the top of them, and get to that little, little cup at the top. I'm not sure if, I'm guessing those are supposed to be birds chirping. This part of the music I kind of like. But I just hate that that sound, and the whirlpool is pretty noisy too. But yeah, you definitely want to try to get the ball in the hole when the uh, flag appears under the bonus. 
so you can get extra holes. Otherwise, it's just going to count down every time you uh, complete a hole. Now that thing that will help you, that is coming out to uh, suck up your golf ball, do that, le or let it do that. That'll deposit it right to the cup. Bing, there we go. And those little spinning things were the same as like the triangles that spin. They just deflect your ball. But again, at the start of each hole, you can. There's a button you can press, and it will let you switch between the three different tees. And sometimes that's useful to do. Ah, come on! Ow! Oh. Screw you! Oh, there we go. Now this one is a pain in the butt. If you knock your ball into that skull's eyes, either one, you will start back over. You have to get it right in the mouth. And if you try to go straight down his skull, straight down center, through uh, between the eyes, it won't work. It will get sucked into one of the eyes. So you have to find a way to get around. You need to uh, you need to hit it really close to where the eyes are, and then go a different direction. I mean, like above the eyes. I will I will uh, cut forward in just a moment and to uh, show you uh, show you me beating it. And when you beat this 18th hole, it's game over, and you get a really big bonus. Ah, see? He laughs at you when you get your ball back at the beginning. And that really sucks. <laughs> but uh, I'll scoot forward in just a moment. There we go. See, I'm right here. I'm going to take a different approach to get to his mouth, hopefully. Oh, I didn't didn't suck into the right eye. There we go. Extra hole, and at the end you get a thousand points for each extra hole that you had left. And then you get a big old bonus of three hundred thousand, or somewhere about there. And that was mini golf by Bally Sente in 1985. Now something I got to tell you is. Uh, there is, I think, a, a, a dip switch that le lets you uh, uh, have the original game. And there is also a, a special uh, scene in the uh, attract mode that'll show uh, missing children. Um, at the time, uh, I guess there were uh, children missing, and I... Th there's at least four different ones that they might show during the attract mode. There was two girls and two boys, and there's the two girls. Uh, upon my research, I found that at least the girl on the right has is safe and sound and is still living today. I don't know about the one on the left. Kind of interesting that they did that. Well, that was Mini Golf by Bally Sente, or perhaps just Sente in... Uh, 1985. This is Crazy Climber 80 saying thanks for watching Mini Golf by Bally Sente, and I will catch you later in the future with my next video. Happy 4th of July upcoming, folks. Bye bye.